Yeah. Yeah. Bone on my tick, tick. We all gotta eat. What up guys? So it's been a couple weeks since I last did a video and I figured I don't have any lashes on so I look a little, I don't know, different. Excuse all the junk in the background but anyways this is my boxy charm for January. I didn't get to do a review for December either but I ended up getting a Violet Voss Olive You Forever Tarte Palette and I've never heard of Violet Voss before, but I can tell. So, yep. Yeah. And sure enough, it's pretty beautiful. Um, pretty tones of color. And it looks like there is six matte and six shimmers. So I think I'm definitely gonna be trying this out. And what else, what else? got this um, Per 4 in 1 Tenant Moisturizer. Um, doesn't really say what shade this is. Um, DG6. So it looks a little bit tan for me, but I'm sure I could use these like all my clients. So, huh. Or maybe like in the summer when your girl gets a little bronze. And then we have some Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask. Excuse my hands, I was baking a cake earlier. Never heard of this brand either. Um, so this says um, to boost hydration, glow, um, basically like a lip mask. It just says, you know, to put it on before bedtime, leave it on overnight. I'll, I'll have my lips are dry, so don't judge me because I thought if I got some gloss, I could put it on. And if I could get this off. Oh, that smells amazing. It looks like those like candies, you know, that used to be like jelly and you could just like eat it out the tube. And then we have some Trust and Fun Beauty. This is lip, uh, lip gasm. This is in the color Unprofessional. It's like a pinky shade. I'm not really a fan of the scent though. Like, it doesn't really have any scent and it just doesn't smell good. However, the, the texture is super duper smooth. Like it's not sticky or anything. I'm not a fan of the color, but I might look up some different shades. So I'm, I'm liking that. Mm, not that bad. And then this is Daily Greens Oil, Oil Free Gel Moisturizer. You open this. So I've been using BoxyCharm. I used to have Ipsy. But I didn't really like Ipsy. Like I just felt like it was hit and miss and the like products would be small. So I've been with Glen Boxy Charm for like the last almost year and I love it. Um, so this is like my, you know, like when you gotta go spend money, this is like my little fix and I don't have to go to the store. It just will just surprise me. It's like a boyfriend that'll give you surprises. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this, but let's feel it. It does feel like super light and like a water base maybe. Daily free moisturizer that delivers last lightweight lasting hydration without feeling greasy. Formulated ingredients known to hydrate and reduce shine. So while I'm at it, let's go ahead and look at December's BoxyCharm because your girl's been busy. Uh, so I did, not gonna lie, I did kind of go through it already which it came with these magnetic lashes. Um, I've never tried magnetic lashes on myself. It is like a beauty sponge that comes in like a little basket that you can throw it in your washer and have your sponges clean. It's like a real techniques texture. I'm 
MAC lipstick. This is in the shade Marquiche. And then we have an Iconic London, looks like a bronzy and blush palette. Um, looks pretty so I'm definitely gonna have to do a video on using these products so I kind of like this gloss though I wonder if you should like try it right now let's try it I don't know how you're supposed to do it so I'm trying to actually put these on someone before a liner in black magic read the directions first Okay, it just says cut the magnetic lash down to fit your eye. Apply magnetic liner on the lash line where the lash is adhered. Mm, do I have tweezers nearby? I have these. But um, the MAC lipsticks, I love MAC lipsticks. Like they just smell so good. MAC is one of the first brands that like I really started to get my feet wet. Um, so I'm just gonna look. Honestly, I don't know how to feel about these. All right. Okay, to the lash line. Like, is this gonna be like an eyeliner? Because if it is, I should have got this shit a little more perfect. Let's just see if it sticks. Shall we? Hmm. You know what? Damn, that was pretty easy. Like, you know, normally lashes, you gotta, like, let it, the glue dry and stuff. But, um, this went on, like, really easy. Why is my brow missing? Hmm, not bad. Let me go ahead and let's put the other one on. And I didn't trim it yet, so. I don't know where it went, guys. Right here in my face. But like, look how easy that just went on. Like, I'm honestly shook. That's pretty impressive. All right, guys. They feel pretty good. Like, huh. And it looks like they just come off. Like, you could just peel them off. I just wonder how long they stay on. Like, if your oils from your pores, you know, once your eyelid oils start coming out, I wonder if it like starts getting rid of the glue, but yeah. All right guys, so that is my video. And if you enjoyed watching, make sure to like and subscribe and as always,